Classic Country. 100.1 WGLC on an early Friday evening. Mother Nature, well, changing some things, Kevin Zambori. Yeah, it did. The game between your Mendota Trojans and Dixon Dukes got moved up to 5 o'clock tonight due to the potential uh, severe thunderstorms throughout the area. So we're going to get this thing going about 5 o'clock instead of the 7 o'clock kickoff. So early start, rainy day. Hey, but it's Friday night, week number five. Now things are going to be slippery, that's for sure. What changes are going to have to be made on the offense and the defense due to the field? Well, basically going to be turning into muck. You know, we're going to hear it from Coach Keegan Hill during the pregame show, but Dixon is a passing football team, and that obviously means the football is going to be wet. But also when you run the football, it's going to be slippy to hang on to the football as well. So, I mean, for the Trojans who are running a football team and have been trying to open it up with the spread, it's going to be interesting to see how this offense really adjusts to everything. Now, the Dixon Dukes have an even record, 2-2 two and two Trojans. Unfortunately, still looking for that first win, coming back after that Genoa-Kingston game that uh, just did not go well for the Trojans, uh, falling 49-6. to Dixon is coming off a win against North Boone, 26-18. Uh, to Let's talk a little bit about this Trojans uh, team so far this year. What are some positives we've seen so far? I feel like every game we've seen something a little bit different from the offense when it comes to who carries the football, who's running the football, you know, who's you know making the catches. You know, it seems like they start off that they wanted to run the football pretty hard with Cole Stremlin to start the season. They've kind of gone away from that somewhat and have let uh, Ted Landgraf kind of open up in the passing game. Well, let's check in with the coach and talk about well what players he thought stepped up this week. Uh, sophomore Christian Telez graded out as our best defender and best offensive lineman as a sophomore, so he did a nice job. And then Damian Hampton stepped up to fill some roles, you know, coming out of a reserve role and, and playing tight end and linebacker. Uh, tonight we have a game against Dixon, a team that has certainly had our number in the past. What are you changing up for the contest to try to get an edge? Well, they pass the ball uh, considerably more than any opponent we've faced this season, so being prepared for that aspect of the game. Um, is going to help us be prepared for what they want to do and just matching up with their personnel. So we have a couple guys coming off of injury and off of eligibility so that, that will help. I'm in. So coming up at 5 o'clock is going to be your game. The Mendota Trojans taking on the Dixon Dukes from lovely Dixon, Illinois. We're up here at the very top of the press box overlooking the uh, Mississippi River. Yeah, you know what? They call it the Rock River in these Oh, parts. it's the Rock River. Okay, so you get to see the... Uh, the beautiful Illinois River right there in the distance as we're, what, what did I say again? The beautiful Rock River. It's Rock River? Are you sure? It's up to the south of us. Anyway, so we're here right along the Green River, and we're going to have the football <laughs> game for you tonight on your radio at Classic Country. 100.1 WGLC. I'm Charles Van Horn alongside Kevin Zambori. Thank you for joining us.